I know what you're thinking. Why would I use keyboard shortcuts when the trackpad on the Mac is by far the best on any laptop? Well, once you get the hang of these keyboard shortcuts, you'll realize how much faster you are at doing almost anything using the keyboard. What's up guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and in this video I'll be telling you about the 20 Mac keyboard shortcuts that you should definitely be using. Excited yet? Well, let's get started. Firstly, with Mac OS Sierra, Siri finally arrived on the Mac. And she is smarter than ever before. You can launch Siri by clicking on the menu bar icon or on the icon on your dock. But you can also use keyboard shortcuts to do the same. Simply press and hold command plus space to launch Siri. You can even change the shortcut for Siri by going to System Preferences and Siri and editing the keyboard shortcut. On number 2, Safari now supports picture-in-picture -picture mode. I talked about it in a video on Mac OS Sierra tricks, so if you haven't watched it yet, click on it right now, it will be on your screen. To rearrange the picture-in-picture -picture window to anywhere on your screen, even other than the corners, just press and hold command and then drag the window to wherever you want to place it. One of the first things I missed when I switched from Windows to Mac was the lack of a Windows plus L type shortcut to lock the screen. Well the good news is that the shortcut exists but it's a little harder to use it than the one on Windows which was much simpler. To put the display to sleep and lock your Mac just press Option, Command, Power on your keyboard. Taking screenshots on a Mac is much easier than it ever was on Windows. Plus, there are a number of options available. To take screenshots of an app window, just press Command, Shift, 4 and then press Space. To take screenshots of an app window without the shadow around it, just press Command Shift 4, press Space, and then press and hold Option when you click the screenshot. By default, a Mac saves the screenshot to the desktop. If you want to copy the screenshot to your clipboard instead, just hold Control while taking the screenshot, and it will be copied to the clipboard. Every app has a help menu in its menu bar, where you can search for options that are available to you in the app. You can access this menu quickly by using a simple shortcut. Just press command shift forward slash on the keyboard to open the help menu search bar directly. Moving on to number 6, there are a couple of keyboard shortcuts that you can use in Spotlight as well. And no, I'm not talking about using command space to launch Spotlight. If you want to jump between result categories in the Spotlight results, you can simply press command plus up or down arrow. If you're looking for the definition of a word and you don't want to scroll down to find the dictionary entry, you can simply press command plus L and you will be taken directly to the dictionary result. So you're writing an article and you want to save it. Obviously you'll use command plus s. However, in the dialog box that appears, asking you to enter the location and then the name, you have to use the mouse. If you're like me, you hate doing that. Fortunately, you can use a couple of simple keyboard shortcuts to do a lot of the tasks without having to use the trackpad. To save a file, just press enter. To cancel, press command plus period. To delete the file, press command plus delete. If you want to use the home folder as a destination, press command shift h. To choose the desktop as a destination, press command d. To enter a custom path, press command shift g. On number 8, there is an easy way to delete complete words in one go instead of having to press delete repeatedly. I mean, can you imagine trying to delete anti-disestablishmentarianism by repeatedly tapping on the delete button? To delete complete words, just press option plus delete. 
This will delete a complete word to the left of the cursor, allowing you to quickly delete longer or multiple words in a sentence. Moving on to number 9, while we are talking about not pressing delete repeatedly, let's talk about how to delete an entire line in one go. To delete an entire line in one go, just press command plus delete. This will delete a complete line starting from the left of the cursor position. If you're using a Mac with a compact keyboard instead of the one with the numpad and all, you obviously don't have dedicated buttons for scroll up, scroll down and lot more. So on number 10, we will talk about some shortcuts that you can use to scroll up and down on a page. To scroll up or down one page at a time, just press function plus up or down key. If you want to scroll to the top or the bottom of the page, just press command plus up or the down key. Easy right? Now you don't need to fret about using a compact keyboard and having to scroll using the trackpad. So this happens to me all the time and I'm sure it happens to you too. A lot of times when I'm typing, I accidentally press the keys incorrectly and end up spelling receive wrong. Now I have to delete the word and type again. That's annoying. On number 11, I'll tell you about a neat shortcut that automatically interchanges the characters on the left and right of the cursor. Simply place the cursor between the E and I in receive and press Ctrl plus T. You will see the characters get interchanged and your spelling has been corrected without having to go to the trouble of deleting the whole word and typing it out again. On number 12, we have another great shortcut to save you some time. You obviously must know that the function keys on your keyboard correspond to specific quick actions like changing the brightness of the screen, adjusting the volume, etc. This shortcut will allow you to directly launch the settings pane for the quick action that you want. Simply press option followed by the function key that you want to launch the settings for. So I can easily open the settings for the keyboard by pressing option plus function 5 and more. I write a lot of articles and as a result I take a lot of screenshots on my Mac that I later delete. However, having to delete the screenshots from the finder and then clearing out the trash itself can become quite a task when you have to do the same thing multiple times a day. The shortcut I'm going to tell you about now, on number 13, will let you delete files directly without having to move them to the trash first. Simply press command plus option plus delete once you have selected the files that you want to delete and they will be deleted directly without being moved to the trash first. Moving on to number 14, do you know that feeling when you have a lot of windows open and you need to move a window in the background, but you click on it and it comes into focus, forcing you to command tab back into the app you were working in? Well, there's a handy way to do this without bringing the background window into focus. When you're trying to move the background window, just press and hold command and then drag the window to where you want to place it and it will not come into focus and you can simply move it. Cool, isn't it? If you receive a lot of notifications like I do, chances are you end up turning on do not disturb all the time just to make sure that you don't get disturbed while working. So you'll probably open up the notification center and click on the toggle for do not disturb, right? Well, there's a much easier way to do this. Simply press option and then click on the notification center icon on the menu bar and DND mode will be turned on. It's as easy as that and you can simply get back to your work without having to worry about random notifications stealing your focus. The one thing that I immediately disliked in the finder way of doing things was that there is no way to cut a file and move it elsewhere. I mean sure, you can drag and drop it into the new location to essentially move it there, but what if you just want to do it using the keyboard? Well on number 16, I'll tell you exactly how you can do that. Simply copy the file that you want to move by using the trusty command plus C shortcut. Then in the location where you want to move it to, instead of pressing command V, press command option V and the file will be moved there instead of being copied. On number 17, I'll tell you about a keyboard shortcut using which you can directly empty the trash. No need to right click on the trash icon in the dock and selecting empty trash anymore. Simply use this keyboard shortcut. Just press shift plus command delete. You will see a confirmation box asking if you want to empty the trash. However, if you don't want to deal with the confirmation box, just press shift command option delete. On number 18, entering emojis and special characters on the Mac might not seem possible or at least easy, but there is an easy way to access all of these special characters and emojis on the Mac. Simply press command Control space to open the special characters dialog box 
and then you can select any character that you want to use. Moving on to number 19, Apple might not be paying a lot of attention to the dashboard, but a lot of people, me included, prefer using it still. If you are like me, then you must have noticed that if you want to remove a widget from the dashboard, you have to click on the minus icon in the bottom left and then close the widgets. However, there is an easier way. In the dashboard, simply press and hold option while hovering the mouse over the widget you want to close and you will see an icon to close the widget from the screen. Easy, right? Last but not the least, let's talk about slideshows. If you have just copied a bunch of photos into the finder and you want to view them as a slideshow, you can use this handy keyboard shortcut to do so. These are some pictures from a recent road trip that we took and I want to view them as a slideshow. Simply select the images and press Command Option Y and the slideshow begins. While you're in the slideshow, you can even skip ahead or play and pause the slideshow as you wish. Well, those were the 20 Mac keyboard shortcuts you should definitely be using. You can read an article on the same from the link in the video description below. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos. Well, that was all from my side and I will see you in the next one.